Hello everyone and welcome to Morkefish channel. In today's video we're going to talk about the um, stick and nunchucks. Right now we have a huge fight about what is better and I didn't plan to join this but... You monkey fist! Only you can put this whole thing to bed. I didn't plan to join this because I think this is a silly topic. It's like really stupid topic. It's not like a moonjack is stupid or stick is stupid. The topic is stupid. This fight is stupid. Yeah, but still. Only you can put this whole thing to bed because we don't need demonstrations and we don't need explanations. We need to see sparring. We need to see down to earth, straight up, no nonsense sparring. Not afraid to hit, not afraid to get hit, not afraid to use techniques, punching, kicking, takedowns, grappling, real, realistic sparring, realistic fighting. And I don't think I've really seen it anywhere but the Monkey Fish channel. Okay, so now it's time to see what is better, stick or nunchucks. And here I made a pair of each and they are the same length and the same weight and they are from the same piece of wood so we can see what works better. Here I also made uh, uh, the same weapons from the same piece of wood padded with a foam so later I can use this in the sparring and this is going to be a real sparring not a choreography, not a demo it's me and my friend we're going to just try to hit each other and see what is better I think we're going to also go with few different rounds like, uh, like stick versus nunchako or stick versus nothing or Nunchako versus nothing. So we'll see what's going to be better in the real scenario. All right, so now it's time to show you the clips from the sparring. And first we use this bamboo stick spotted with foam and we find out that they are quite hard. So we switch for the plastic ones, also spotted with foam. But these plastic ones didn't hold so long because we break them quite fast. And yeah, so we have to come back to these hard ones. So first I'm going to show you sparring with stick and nunchucks and the sparring is a full contact and semi-contact and probably you're going to see which one is which so enjoy
So after this first compilation, I cannot tell you what is better because I would say it's 50-50 because I get hit with stick, I get hit with nunchucks. I think with nunchucks hurts it a bit more, but maybe this is just my opinion. Okay, so now I'm going to show you another compilation from my sparrings and this time only one of us have a weapon and in this scenario it's going to be a stick and another guy have to defend himself. So, enjoy. So this was pretty intensive and really great experience and I didn't expect that it was going to be that hard but with the stick I can see that when you close the distance it's quite easy to take away the stick or even just you know go for grappling and then you have to just you know trust your skills so it's also be good with grappling. So now it's time to show you a compilation from the sparring only with nunchucks. So, Enjoy. Okay, so in the last compilation I used clips only from the one sparring because I don't know what's happened with the rest of the clips but yes, you could see huge difference between sparring with the nunchucks or sparring with the stick it was much more difficult to close the distance and try to take away the weapon than with the stick I don't know why, maybe it's just because something is sitting in your head because this is spinning around and make this noise 
and you know that when you just try to take away the weapon somebody can just slam your hand or something like this I don't know it's just it was just more difficult maybe just because it's just more scary than stick I don't know but now I'm going to try to hit something with my weapons my stick and my nunchaku and my target is going to be this coconut and you have to remember that those weapons I made from the bamboo stick so they are really light so if I can crush it this coconut with those it means that they have to be pretty good so I taped the coconut to this tree and now I'm going to try to hit it with the stick and after with nunchako and we'll see what can hit harder and if I even can crush it, this coconut with those light weapons Only things what I break was my stick and now it's time to try with Munchako. I'm going to replace this coconut so you cannot say that I break it because it's weaker because I hit a few times with the stick before. You can see on the coconut the place where I hit it but it's no any I cannot see any breaks on it. So so it's time for Nunchako now. Probably it's gonna be more difficult to hit this small target, but yeah, let's try it. Okay, so in this case, I also break completely my weapons. You can see it's crushed everywhere. But you have to remember that it was just bamboo stick. And in the last hit, I was thinking that I only break the tape, this is why the coconut fell down, but look what's happened. You see the breaking mark, you can see the water going out also, and I didn't expect that, actually I'm really surprised about this. Pretty good. I cannot say that the Munchaku is stronger than stick, because maybe it was just, you know, lucky shot. So, but actually I'm really surprised about this one. And I would like to try to crush the first coconut, what I tried with the stick. But right now my two weapons are broken, so I cannot do it. Okay, so until now, I don't know what is better. Because I like this one and I like this one. This have a few bad things and this have a few bad things. So, I cannot tell you what is better because I don't know. But you have to remember that these weapons, or any weapon, will not make you a fighter or warrior because weapon is just a tool. This is not solution, it's a tool. So you have to practice to become a fighter or warrior. Not like you just get a stick and you are already can kill everyone. No, it's not like this. You have to train a little bit to be able to do it. Because if you have a really huge longsword and you never have a long sword in your hand and you have to fight against somebody with a really tiny mushroom knife and he know how to use it probably you will be dead so you know this is just a tool you have to practice to become good with it and yeah I think this all drama about the uh, nunchaku and stick is just silly and we should not compare these two weapons because they are completely different so you can also compare, you know, longsword to spear, what is better. Doesn't matter. But you should not compare two weapons because they have two different purposes. And they are just different. So I cannot tell you what is better. You have seen in the video how I used it. And you could see how it works in the sparring. But again, I am not a master, I'm not an expert. I was just playing around and try to, you know, hit somebody and don't get hit. So, <laughs> I try my best. And, yeah. <sighs> Thank you for watching, see you next time.